and reading Exodus yesterday in the verse of Moses where he goes up and then hears from the Lord. And we concluded that getting in the presence of God allows you to hear him. How do we do that? Going into the word of God, going to church, hearing from other believers, listening to worship music, getting in creation, etc. There's many ways, but we, we deduce that we must get in the presence of God. And this inspired me to seek a little deeper of what it means to pursue his will. What is God's will for my life? And in every situation, I hear so many Christians and even me, I ask, what is God's will for my life? How, how do I know? Well, today and in the next few days, we're going to spend some time figuring out together how we know. Why? Because it's important. Here, listen to what Paul says. Paul summarizes that we continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives. Colossians 1, nine. His will. His will. His will. Talked about through all of Scripture. Now, here's principle number one to understanding what is God's will for your life. And that is a comprehensive word of God. Imagine this. If we approach the Bible as if the creator of the universe wrote it, as if the creator who gave you life in breath wrote it, as if the God of that is omnipresent, that is everywhere at once wrote it, the God who is outside of time wrote it, if we approach the word of God that way, we might take it a little seriously. I love when people say, hey, man, it's my favorite author, his favorite speaker. You know who my favorite author and speaker is? God. Because the only person that I've ever read, the only person I've ever spoken to that has transformed me instantly and eternally is God. Not to say God won't speak through other authors and don't read other authors. Do that. Do that. It's mainly if it's good for your soul and character. But... Um, we must approach the Bible in that manner. And I, I think about the guy who scoops up some dirt in the creek, panning for gold, and shakes it. And then out of it comes the little gold pellets. And he does that all day to find that gold. How much more so is something that transforms our character? Let's go pan together. And, and check it out what it says in 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. The word of God is inspired by him that, that is necessary for teaching, rebuking. Uh, in Psalms 119, 105 says, it's a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. And the Bible reveals God's general will for us and, and his will regarding specific matters, sexual purity, relationships, loving others, etc. And if any situation, in any situation that you ever find yourself in, Determine if the Bible addresses it. And if the Bible does address it, then you are walking in God's will. Because remember this truth. God will never allow us to do something that is contradictory to his word. Let's read the word together like he wrote it.